Claudette Johnson is an artist who first came to prominence in the 1980s um, during the first National Black Art Convention while she was still a student in fine art at the University of Wolverhampton. And three of the works in our current exhibition are works that were from her final degree show at Wolverhampton. Um, the work called And I Have My Own Business in the Skin from 1982, um, which is a very interesting work from Claudette's imagination. It's a work that's of significance to Claudette because of the way in which she made this decision to fill the entire frame, fill the entire available space of paper with this woman who's almost bursting out of, of the confines of the paper. Um, she made a, a kind of conscious decision to engage with um, the modernist aesthetics of Picasso, um, which had been a concern of hers for a while and we can see in a number of her works, in that she is trying to find her place within the canons of Western modernism. Uh, and so she has a sort of ongoing dialogue with Picasso in her work, with the fragmented picture plane, but also the problematic aspects of colonial modernism that are enshrined in um, many of Picasso's works, in particular Les Demoiselles d'Avignon. And so as a black woman artist, she was always seeking to think about black femininity and black femininity taking up space on its own terms. So this work is called And I Have My Own Business in the Skin, which is a line from a poem by Gail Murray. And it's, it, it remains a key work for Claudette and her thinking around black femininity, black women's presence in art. The central panel of Trilogy was also a work um, that Claudette showed in her final degree show and you see again this interest in the way in which a picture plane can be fragmented by abstract lines and yet in front of those lines you have this very strong figure of a woman in black who is taking up space and Claudette asked her model for this work to stand in a way that she wanted to, where she would take up the maximum amount of space um, to really give herself some presence. And so it's all about this idea of women taking up space, and in particular black women taking up space, and kind of asserting their right to be here. Figure with Raised Arms of 2017 is such a striking work by Claudette and it's a really interesting departure in many ways from some of her earlier works which were all about um, black femininity and black womanhood. Claudette has uh, two sons, her two adult sons, and um, one of those sons is a sitter for this work. And I think um, what's really interesting is that having sons has also sensitized Claudette to the idea of black masculinity. And I think what she wanted to do in this particular work um, was to give a space for contemplation for the role of uh, black men, um, unencumbered by any contextual attributes, just being. Next to figure with raised arms in the gallery of 2017 is Claudette's figure in blue of 2018, a pastel and gouache work on paper. And um, what we have with figure in blue is a female sitter who is looking over her shoulder. Her eyes are open, but, but looking downwards. There's a beautiful sense of both stillness and movement at work in this work. And I love that tension between the movement of the blue drapery, the dress she's wearing, with the sort of dark brown pastel of her facial features that are really carefully delineated and depicted. And she is in full contemplation um, and she is not interested in us as well. And she emerges from this kind of very, uh, sort of the negative space of, of the white paper. We're delighted to be showing Claudette's work in the Courtauld in the main gallery's exhibition space. The visitor on entry to the Courtauld needs to walk through histories of Western modernism that Claudette has always been in conversation with, works by Gauguin, works by Manet, works by Degas, Renoir, all the artists 
whom Claudette's art historical education consisted of as a student and works and artists that she has admired as an artist herself but also has um, been in dialogue with. And so there's a beautiful sort of relationship between having Claudette's works of all black figures in the main gallery spaces of the Courtauld. In a gallery that is always associated with French Impressionism, French Modernism, for whom black subjects and black figures are problematised. If you'd like to learn more about Claudette and her work, and particularly her work in relation to the Courtauld, do come and visit the exhibition Claudette Johnson Presence on the third floor of the Courtauld Gallery um, and have a look on your way in at the works um, that she is in dialogue with from the collection.